Dear students, welcome to this lesson. Topic is quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis is paper number 12 of CPA, where this topic, this unit generally talk about mathematical techniques, making decisions using mathematical techniques, and that is what we are going to go through here. Now, for those uh, students who are doing their undergraduate degree in BCom or uh, statistic and also those people who are doing cpa this will be very important session for you now when we talk about quantitative analysis what does it mean here we are going to look at the techniques which techniques do we use when making management decisions you are in a position maybe in an organization whereby you are in a management managerial position or you are just in an, any other position where you need to do some decisions using mathematical techniques. Which techniques are those that will help you in making decisions? We will start with the first topic. And uh, the first topic we cover, we call it mathematical functions. Mathematical functions. Mathematical functions. Functions. Mathematical functions. Mathematical functions. What is a function? When we talk, we are going to divide it into lessons. This lesson one, we are going to discuss mathematical functions. What is a function when we talk about a function? A function is a relationship where a value of independent variable is determined by two or more independent variables. Now, what do we mean by this we talk of values uh, values of dependent variables dependent variables are determined by values of two or more independent variables so what we mean here dependent variable will always be one while independent variables will be one two or more Variable. So that relationship where we have two variables, we have dependent variable and independent variable. So the value of dependent variable is determined by the value of two or more independent variables. For example, a distance covered. Examples, distance covered, covered against fuel used what does where is dependent variable and independent variable distance covered fuel used these are variables one is dependent another one is independent what do we mean what we mean here is that the distance covered will always determine the va the fuel which is used so in this case distance covered is independent variable it is independent variable it is on its own while the fuel used is dependent variable so the longer the distance you cover the uh, the higher the amount of fuel you are going to use so the the variables here the values of dependent variable will be determined by two or more independent variables so the distance will depend on the fuel which is being used so that, that is what we are going to look at here another for example we can talk of sales against maybe sales against uh, let's say commission huh? for those people who are commission based what you earn depend on the what you have sold so what does this mean this means that independent variable in this case is your commission but dependent variable is sales so meaning if you don't sell anything you don't earn commission or you earn little commission so commission that you earn depend on the sales so commission is dependent variable now another example is advertising advertising against cost of sales cost of yeah we can talk of cost of cost of sales what does this mean cost of sales against advertising 
the cost of sales will always increase if you do more of advertising. If you don't advertise, then cost of sales remain the same. So in this case, what is dependent variable? Cost of sales. Independent variable is advertising. So it means if you don't advertise, then you you will it will not be affected by the cost of sales. So that is what we are going to look at in this topic and in this lesson. Now the second top what we are going to do another subtopic is the types of functions. Which types of functions do we have? Types of functions. Types of functions. Now why is this topic important to us in business. We are going to look at it in uh, topics to come, how, it's, how you can apply it in a business concept, how you can use it also in a real life situation. But always uh, we know that as a maybe as a business person, you have your business, you know that there are sales, there is advertising cost, there is cost of sales, maybe at personal level distance you are traveling will always be determined by the fuel. It will always determine the fuel that you, you use. So that, this is a very important concept in quantitative analysis when we are making decisions. Now, what are these functions that we have? We have two, five types of functions. One is linear function. Linear function is also called straight line function. Call it linear function or straight line function. Another function is quadratic function. Quadra quadratic function. What is quadratic functions? We shall look at them one by one. Cubic functions. Cubic functions. Cubic functions. Then exponential functions. Exponential exponential functions and finally another type of function we have we call it logarithm I'm a logarithmic logarithmic functions logarithmic functions now what are these uh? we are looking at the different types of functions where do we apply linear function and what is a linear function where do we apply quadratic function where do we apply cubic function and we have to apply exponential function and logarithmic function. Now when we talk about linear function, what does it mean? This one is a function generally in the form of y is equal to mx plus c as we shall look at it later. So a straight line, equation of a straight line, how is it going to be and what are the different variables that it has. Then quadratic function. What is quadratic function? This is a function whose factor is raised to 